Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my dialogue system. It doesn't have too many features, but I think it's something you might be interested in seeing, so let's, let's jump straight in. Now, this is the whole thing. This, this is the entire loop on how you print text letter by letter. And there'll be a, there's a few things you need to get it going. You need, on the input node, an execute, a text node, a string node, and a float. And these four things will make the whole system function. This will make your text string work. We'll start with the execute. We'll plug this straight up into a set append text string variable. And this is a text variable. You have to make this yourself. But we'll be coming back to that a little later. Next, we want to focus on the text. First, we need to split the text string into get character array from string. This will split your string into every letter it has. And the next thing you want to do with the text is print it into a length, plug it into a length. This will get the entire length of the string from start to finish, like every letter in one. What we want to do is get character array from string, we plug this into a get along with an array index value. Now the array index value will give a value to every single character in the string. And what we want to do with this information is we want to plug it into an append and we want to move this data into an empty text string and this is your appended text string. It's an empty node and that just plugs into the A of the append because we're going to write into that. So from the append we plug into a set of the appended text string and this will start printing the letters into that because this is the thing we're going to print onto the screen. So we move this into a set text. Now this is where we bring the text in and this node with a dot will be created when you plug the text string into the in text. Now the target is our text node. And this is like your UMG text. This is, this is, that's what plugs into here because we want to set the text of the UMG and that's where your, your text is going to be. It's going to be on part of the hood. And from here we go to a delay and the duration of this delay is what determines how fast the text prints. So a low number will make it print fast, a higher number will make it print slow. So depending on how quickly you want your character to talk, you can change that. We plug this then into a play sound at location, or just a play sound. And this is where you get your old-fashioned kind of noise when it's printing text. Because it will play the sound every time it prints a letter, and that's every time it loops around this thing. And you want to pick a sound that's just like a doop. Next, we plug this into a branch. And if this branch is true, well let's let's go find out the condition first, shall we? Now the condition of this being true is if the array index value is equal to or greater than the length of the text. Now if that is true, we'll set the appended text to nothing and we'll also set the array index value back to zero. And if it's false, we want to set the array index value. Now we want to add one to the array index value every time this loops so it prints the next letter in the text string every loop. It's like printing the whole text string but with an extra letter on the end each time. And once we have that we go back to the start of the loop 
and we do the whole process again, and it will keep printing the string with an extra letter added each time. And this is how you make text type itself out on a hood. And it took me a while to figure this out, and I looked absolutely everywhere to find this out, and my only hint was one small bit of hint on the answer hub. And it, it wasn't worded exactly right as to how this is, but I had some input from some programmers at work, Chris Jones being one of them. He's a big help on this project, i got to say, as well as a couple of the others. But uh, this is... I, I hope this has been helpful, and I, I hope that you guys will get those text those text dialogues working in your games now because this this is something that should have been shared a long time ago and I, I was unable to find it so I, I really hope this is helpful and thanks for watching guys I'm I'll see you next time I do a video which will be next Monday so look out for that to see what new is coming in the game okay thanks guys and I'll see you later